Hey there guys, welcome to Total Warhammer. Boop, boop. With Cubal. Hi. We're playing as we're both playing as greenskins. And I am Azhag, so I may die quickly. Very, yeah. very quickly. You gotta get either uh you don't start with a, a full set here. Nope. So gotta build up an army, get that going. Get a yep. wall going. Yep, yep. That's basically how I, I think it's probably the best way. But um I'll, I'll just concentrate on Solidifying the uh, the southeast, yeah. Yep, you concentrate on your stuff. Uh, so we're playing with uh, the legendary Lord Star positions, which lets us play the same faction. You know, green skin, green skin. Uh, we're playing with the conquer anywhere, so we can conquer any place we like because we're orcs and we want to. Yeah. Uh, we're playing with the radius mod and the radius units mod as well. So we'll explore those, I guess, as we go through. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the only, the only, the only units that I think look terrible are the uh, the chaos dwarves. We won't be seeing them for a while, anyway. So. No, no. Um, they just, they just, they just don't look good. Um, really. But there, there, there are a lot of units, by the way, that have been yeah. added uh, in the radius. I, I don't know how much they've been, you know. Yeah, I don't know what the balance is like. It's I've read a good radius, so I think the uh, only thing is that. Um... Yeah, they've rebalanced the economy slightly, and they've reduced unit upkeep and they've mm. increased income, so you can have more armies. I think is the idea. But... Yeah, and the garrison, like there's more garrison, so you don't have to, you know, you have a chance at least of defending a lot of the time. Yeah. Okay, so what do we want here? Um... Yeah, we want to upgrade that. So, do you think I should go straight for the 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 sit little city? Uh, so let me come have a look, um, because um, we, we've kind of got our own playthrough of this going. Um, yeah. So uh, what I did, yeah, I went into the little, took the little city and used it to really boost my wog meter. Then I went and basically raided his province until I got a wog, and then I was able to take it. Yeah, yeah, that um, sounds like probably the best idea. I was just thinking maybe so I should. On radius, you could definitely raise a second army as well. Uh, yeah. Remember, I think in, um, the reason to take the little one as well is because then you can recruit the other side of the mountain. So. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll recruit four uh, orc boy units, uh, three orc boy units, and then go after the city in the next turn. Yeah. Uh, which means I have very little to do, so there you go. It's my turn. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love the orcs, man. They're so awesome. All right, well, in that case, I'm going to come and... I guess I'm gonna take. I would advise you. No, 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 no. Okay. Well. Okay. I mean, no. Oh, you made me wreck my movement phase, you dick. Oh, no, no seriously. Like, the army. do no. They don't move. Do one turn at least of recruiting, because there's another army up there, and they'll corner you, and it'll be a really tough battle. Uh, right. Uh, let's see here. Like they, they won't, they won't attack you. Yeah. Um, so you you have the time to kind of recruit, and I've I've been working on my I've been working on my orc tactics, on oh, yeah. my greenskin tactics. I always keep at least one unit of uh, goblin spearmen in my in my armies. Oh, okay. Because I put them at the front, and then they they soak up the uh, the arrow and uh, artillery damage. Arrows. Oh, he moved. You lied. Uh, yeah, I did apparently. I'm sorry, dude. He's left Iron Rock vulnerable, so I'll just go take it. I'll ignore that army. Yeah, it, like, like literally, I don't know if they've changed it a bit in Radius, but what always happened was, um, uh, if you go straight in, you defeat their army, and then that other army at Iron Rock comes out, and they kind of, you know, basically bitch on you a little bit. Yeah. Because you lose a lot in that fight. Uh, yeah, that'll be yeah, fine. That's enough, yeah, you, you should be able to take this in. Can you reach it this turn? You can't, can you? No, no. Like, oh, that's oh. underground. Yeah, but um, next turn you should be able to take it. He's got no army there, and you can do another bit of recruitment and get a full stack up. Yeah, and he, he can't get there in, in a turn. Yeah, exactly. So. Okay. I, I just I just want Skullmuncher, and I want an Azhag who isn't a broken uh, vampire queen model, which was... <laughs> it's the weirdest fucking... Like, she looked like a, like a weird spider woman, basically. Nice. All, all, like, broken up and, like, pointy limbs and shit. It's the weirdest goddamn thing. Um, let's see here. Oh, I can't reach. What you got on you? Go. 
Don't forget to equip the Black Orcs when you, you know, with the banner. Yeah. That banner's so useful. It makes the Black Orcs pretty ridiculous. I might as well start raiding as I'm not going to reach it. Uh, given the amount of income I've got, I'm actually going to go out and get a uh, Goblin Shaman going. Yeah, Goblin Shaman. Goblin Shamans are so strong. Like, they're, you know, they're not great with... But the boosts they can give to your armies is so worth it against the dwarves. Yeah. Like, the, one of the first things I want to go for is, uh, like, you know, really make a beeline for is the, uh... <clears throat> is the, um, the Orc Shaman. Mm. So what can Fuck. we... Okay. Oh, no, because we're in the thing, yeah. Uh, yeah, so give oh. me a change your stance and go and take this thing. Should be able to resolve it, to be honest. Apparently you're unreliable and you don't like us because you're... You... Oh, no, that's dwarves, never mind. I was like, yeah. that's weird. Why would they not like us? Okay. Uh, I think i just automate this. Yeah, I think so. Like, you know, I want to show people battles, but yeah, this but battle's this like... Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I've made the spectator. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's fine. I lost 56 orcs. Yeah, so you, you can now do recruitment because it's your problems. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, a good item. I got an enchanted item, passive ability, the Feather Foe Talk. Uh, around self, 45 uh, meters. Uh, yeah. minor, uh, target if flying, uh, minus 10% armor piercing, minus 10% weapon damage. Hmm. Damn. 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 I'm going to get some growth. Yeah, definitely. And like, if you uh, if you look at some of the some of the things, it's not so much in the um, yeah, with the green skins, but if you look at uh, when you take Iron Rock, yep. uh, you can actually build a Goblin Workshop there, like completely. You know, you don't have to worry about. Uh, yeah, because it's got iron. Yeah. No, no, no. Because of the. Um, oh, because of radius. Yeah, so radius has moved the Goblin Workshop down to tier two and tier three instead of tier three and tier four. Uh, okay, so you so don't have to worry about building it in your capital, where you can good. build other better yeah. stuff. Yeah, I was trying on my Empire playthrough that increases um, the towns to tier four. They don't give it an extra slot, but it does give it, um, you know, the ability to to fix all of those things basically. Yeah, that's the other way to look at it, I guess. But I you know, radius is a complete rebalance. So. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do right now is up the. I'm, I'm gonna take Root Marcher, obviously. Like, to being able to take Intimidating Presence and Root Marcher on your first level up is so nice. Yeah. But I think I'm going to go down the command uh, tier for for Azhag for now. Oh, yeah. Well, there's no point in making him strong right now because I'm not going to be putting yeah. him into, like, I usually go like for some unit buffs first and then into, yeah. um, into some character buffs. And then I kind of then start splitting it. Although with Radius, we get more points, I believe. So You get... Uh, with, with the heroes, you don't. And as far as I know... Uh, they have fixed the hero stuff quite a bit. You know, so you don't get loads of heroes just being arseholes. Although, in my Empire campaign, I'm being chased by a Banshee who just oh, won't leave me alone. Oh, that turn. Oh, that's foolish on me. Oh, well. Um, right, ah, so. it's, it's fine. Let's get some boys. Alright, that's me. Oh, man, that guy's name is awesome. The, uh, Goblin. Hmm, Skull Gork's Chosen. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I'm defending. Uh, I think between us we should be. I think you should name him Atomic Tim. Should I run from this? No, I think we'll be all right, won't we? Because we got the Doom Diver, I and mean, we're outnumbered. But if I give you the Doom Diver, boys, Black Hawks, mate, you'll you'll wreck him. Well, I don't know how. I'll, I'll give you the ball boys. Uh, let's have a look. You got. Oh, I didn't fucking give the banner out. Hold up. Oh, you can do that now. Done. Um, yeah, they they've like. The Goblin Wolf Chariot is the only dangerous thing, and they only have one unit of archers. Oh, you only have one unit of archers. Yeah. But we've got uh, the Doom Diver. So you've I, got I the Doom Diver and the Black Hawks, yeah, so... And obviously, I've got you know, the big guy himself. So. Got Grimgore, who can... Uh, like, just just basically uh, face Grimgore off against any general, pretty much. Yeah. Except for possibly uh, Grumble Pants, the... the um, What's his name? It's Wait. not because because Grimgore is the name of the orc guy. What's the name of the dwarf guy? Oh, 
I, I want to call him Thor American Shield from The Hobbit, but it's like that. Yeah, it, it's like it's like it's like Grumble Door. The Grudge Bringer. Yeah, but what's his name? Bre Bre B something. It's like Thor and Grudge Bringer. I thought. Oh, do you mean the Slayer, Thor or do you mean Thor the Grim. King, or Thor Grim. Thor Grim, yeah. Thor Grim, Grudge Bringer? Yeah. Something like that. Man, the Orc Boar Boys are such awesome shot cavalry. Yeah. Although, have you seen, like, you know, if you take the bottom left area, you can make, uh... You can make, um... Oh, there's, uh, reinforcements from behind me. We can uh... wipe out their reinforcements first. Oh yeah, should we go and set up right next to them? Yeah, set, set them I'll all up. I'll come in one at a time, so... We set up like this. Although we're on the top of the hill here. Set up like that, yeah, because then we're literally on the top of the hill. Yeah. I'm gonna set the archers up that way. I think we'll probably still want to set the Doom Diver looking the other way. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. But you can, you can set up on that hill and they'll probably come at you. So if I set the Doom Diver up there, are we going to be able to get back to him in time? That's the question. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, definitely. They won't be that fast. Like the, you might want to put. I can always pull some units back. Like, you, you uh, do you know what? I'll keep the uh, goblin spearmen. Yeah, I was going to say put the goblin spears in front and put the black orcs in front of the archers. And I'll go over here. Alrighty, I'm ready. How about you? Ready, okay. ready. That's cheeses. Oh shit! Oh Get well, back. that wasn't where they were supposed to be. Yeah, maybe it's because it saw the cheese coming. Holy shit! Oh, well, I've the, already rooted them. The no, the it's just because they start off like yeah. But... Leave me somewhere to charge in, dude. Come around the other side, maybe. This way. I'll break those goblin spears. Oh, yeah. For fuck's sake. He's going to get a run straight off the map as well. So. Doesn't give me much room to maneuver, I have to say that. Trying to freaking maneuver these ball boys. Plus, I don't want them taking too many hits, no. especially against the spears. Uh, can you actually bring them back so they can offset the cavalry, maybe a little bit? Oh, is there? Uh... Sorry, the uh, not the cavalry. Yeah, the, yeah, uh... yeah. All right, these guys should be about done. I'm gonna bring the uh, archers back. Oh yeah! I love how excited Come the on, orcs got get. Break quicker. <laughs> that's that's the that's the problem with the reinforcement uh, uh, reinforcement bashing. Like if you bash the reinforcement, especially with radius, because it makes the battles last longer. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, what does it increase unit health and stuff? Uh, it, it it like it just basically means that the battles aren't over in like five minutes in like two minutes. Okay. Well. Out all of them, so. Yeah, there you go. If I put my boar boys, I lost quite a few, but that was just because of the fucking spearmen I got stuck. It's alright, that's not bad to lose them as long as the unit doesn't die, because obviously I'm not going to have to attack them. Yeah, no, you, you, you definitely want the, the boar boys just to stick around. <laughs> it's a fucking Doom Diver, it's so awesome. But yeah, they are. Oh, I've got the big guy. Come on. You're literally just going to get straight and engage with that gen. No. He's so good. Like, fucking, he's such a beast. I think they changed it, actually. Like, where are the Black Hawks? Uh, I think they changed, they changed it so the Black Hawks are actually black. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you can't really see under their, under their armor. Charging the Black Hawks into like uh, the the goblin uh, like goblin spears and that is so satisfying. Yeah. Holy crap! Why are those uh, goblin archers already almost breaking? 
uh, Doom Diver's been on them. Ah, gee. Well, I'm charging my ball boys into him. Unless you want them on the... Uh... Yeah, I'll transfer to the chariots at the moment. Okay. Right, the chariots will be an arse for me to chase. Actually, with can the... you just help out the goblin spearmen on the right-hand side? Uh, First, what? can you just do a charge into the back yeah, of the sure, sure. and things next to you? Spearman should be fine, I'll charge into the orcs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the, the spearmen, or, the goblins are already breaking. <laughs> I love seeing them take off just like... <laughs> Warg. Ow. We took a couple of hits from the uh Yeah. Alright. They ain't mobile boys. <laughs> uh Mate, the, um, can you see the big block on the left? The uh, my boys on the r on the right hand side are losing. Can you just charge into the back of? Uh, yeah, oh, I wait, see. I can I see. on the map, can't I? Can you come in here? Yeah. I'm literally following that line as well. <laughs> oh. Amazing how a how a shot cavalry charge can change the battle. Yeah. Like, look at the morale shift now. Oh damn, I'll chase down there, uh, I'll chase down Gorfang Ripgot. Yeah, we need to kill him. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do the battle until he's dead, basically. Yeah. Get your, get your guys on him as well, though. Hey, yeah, where's he gone? Oh, yeah. I, I don't think the cavalry can take him out by themselves. Uh, they will be able to. I'm, I'm going to increase the speed, though. Okay. It should slam down enough for Grim Gore. Is it is it a bit choppy for you? Uh, there's a little bit lag, but it's okay. Yeah. The game itself isn't choppy, no. It's yours. Yeah, a little bit. Oh really? Should be there fine. Done. Yeah, you did. Good although, battle. although it does give them a goblin shaman, but. Uh, what's his name? Um, Grimgore uh, Ironhide basically eats Goblin Shaman for breakfast, so you should be fine. Look at how many the Black Orcs killed. 191. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I think we probably need to replenish a little bit there. Mm, you could just consolidate and recruit. Yeah. Oh, I've got the waiting for players going. Yeah, sorry, I'm still loading. I don't know why it's being so shitty. Hmm. Got a little bit of con problem. Yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe my flat me is being a bit of a butt. Okay. Um You're up. Okay. So, uh, oh, we made idols, yeah. Um, oh, the dwarves are coming this way with a big army. Oh, uh, out their town. Yep. Orc boys or spear boys? Ooh. Well, two units of spear boys, I reckon, and another, and another unit of orc boys. Oh, actually, orc arrow boys. Yeah, orc arrow boys. Okay. Uh, do we have any idea what they have? Uh, some dwarf warriors with great weapons, and then looks like a lot of miners. They've got great weapons, and miners are not too bad. Miners are easy, man. It's uh, if they have a lot of corollas, which is the um, yeah. mm. thing. But yeah, you well, they yeah, build up your army a little bit. How are you doing on the warg thing? You might need to get in raid. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely will. Uh, oh, it's me. Uh, yeah, okay. so take uh, take iron rock. Yeah. And then you can, like, consolidate your boys, uh, and then recruit more if you want. To resolve this. Yeah. Oh. It's like, it's, it was, uh, I was, I was like, why can't I auto-resolve? And I was like, oh, that's player's AI. Never mind. The boys are playing. So, yeah, if you, uh, uh, oh, no, you can't check, I don't think. I was going to say, if you, you can destroy the muster fields, though. 
and get someone else next turn. No, I'm going to keep the Master Fields there. Why? I'm going to destroy the ones in the castle. Why? You can't get the uh, last tier. I thought you said they moved it all down. No, I'm at uh, the Goblin Workshops, mate. Oh, uh, okay. The, like, uh, for, for, like, the, uh... Yes, yeah, I will, I'll, I will destroy it. It's for... just, I'm used to playing Empire, and they have three tiers in the, um, the barracks. Yeah. The building. Yeah. All right, um, let's look at the huge empires. Ooh, the War Boss Immortals are an actual unit. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I did get a unit of uh, of uh, Night Goblin fanatics, and they never actually released the ball and chain. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Oh, really? Mm. So yeah, just looking at what we got here, we got uh, Iron Claw orcs. Yeah. Uh, armored, armor piercing, anti large, and bigger and harder. Uh, we got the Night Goblin spearmen. So those guys are awesome. Because uh, the Night Goblins. Uh, Vanguard, Poiman, Anti-Large, Shielded, and Poison Attacks. Uh, Bloody Sun Boys. Yeah. And the Broken Tooth Armored Boys. Okay. Basi basically, like, they, they've, they've given us, they've given you some units that can actually hold their own, you know, one-on-one -on -one with the Dwarves. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm just doing some diplomacy. Hold up a sec. So, oh, I'm okay. going to, uh, Give, uh... Oh, you know what? I can confederate these Gabii. Um, where are they? Oh, them? Yeah. Hmm. Seems like an easy win at the moment. Well, I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's not a terrible plan. Um... Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to uh, see if I can get a be better treaty with Crooked Moon. Crooked Moon's like air, eh, because they have Karakate Peaks, and the dwarves come in and crush them. Uh, the top knots are the ones who tend to yeah. do... I just want to increase the um, uh, that, and then I'll... I'll yeah, I'll confederate Scabby Eye now. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Scabby Eye... But what's basically going to happen, most I likely... I the dwarves might come and take all of it, but... Yeah, I was going to say, the dwarf. Yeah, there they are. But, you know, it's a little bit of extra income for now. Yeah. Um, and I'm not at war with the dwarves. They might declare war on me, but... Well, the, uh, are you not at war with the Barak Var? And you I'm should not. be at... I'm not, actually, at the moment. You should be at war with the actual dwarves. Uh, I'm pretty sure you start off... I am off at war with the actual dwarves, yeah, yeah but yeah. the Barak Var I'm not at war with. Well, it's possible they may war you anyway, dude, because they've oh, got yeah, an no, army sure. right there. Alright, we just need to grab some more boys in that army. The boys, the boys. Alright. Just better hope that the, uh, the Barak Var don't con confederate with the dwarves. By the way, as soon as they're out, I'm... I'm a hundred percent in on a on a Skaven campaign. Oh yeah, I have a feeling Skaven won't be for a while, eh? I know, I know, but I want the Jezels, man. I want the fucking Doom Wheel. If they don't have the Doom Wheel, I'm gonna uh, just fucking riot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, freaking Thorgrim, that's his name. Thorgrim. Yeah, that's right, because I was like thinking God, and I was like, why am I thinking God? Is it because he's ridiculously like powerful? And it's Thor. Yeah. I lo you know what I do like, actually? I like how the, the orcs can't trade, so they use the uh, resources for different things. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what they use the salt for, but... What do they use the salt for? Do you not remember? No. Something. Some, some, something. It's for something. Yeah, they really use it for something. Okay, so I've got five slots left. Uh, I think Goblin Wolf Riders. Maybe one unit of good Goblin Wolf Riders. Two units of Goblin Wolf Rider Archers. And then another unit of... Oh, I can't... Yeah, okay. And then... An, mm, 
A unit of Orc boys? Maybe? Or another... Oh, I've got another Arrow boys. Uh, yeah, another unit of Orc boys. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm going to get. 